Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady and I'm back with my Stash Countdown video series. So if you're a fellow diamond painter, you will probably understand that collecting diamond paintings is incredibly addictive. There's just so many brilliant pieces of artwork out there that have been made into diamond paintings. So like this one, which is absolutely gorgeous, Tiger on a Rock. You guys actually voted for this one in my last uh, Stash Countdown video series and now it's done. It's very beautiful. So. Basically, the aim of this series is to try and keep myself more accountable for how many diamond paintings I'm buying and how much I'm spending. So the aim is to try and complete more kits than I buy. And every time I complete 10 kits, I can buy three new ones. So since my last countdown video, I have completed four more kits. Um, however, I also purchased a bunch of kits I stupidly allowed myself some loopholes. So the loopholes to my rule of complete 10 by three was anything that was discontinued that came up for sale that I really needed or anything from the artist Puffy Gator because her artwork is absolutely incredible. So I was doing really well with the series and I thought, hey, I'm doing pretty well until I realized I'd actually miscounted my stash. So when I started this, I had 72. However, it was actually 74 because I forgot to include these two kits. So Flower Mermaid, which was by the artist uh, Jamika Murphy, and also Cloud Angel by the same artist. So these ones are actually part of the Diamond Art Club anniversary um, special <laughs> launches. There was a live stream that was going on and I stupidly, I stayed up until 5.30 in the morning UK time watching that live stream because I wanted to be part of the five year anniversary hype and everything. So I couldn't stay up till 5.30 in the morning and not buy any diamond paintings. So I got these at the very beginning of June and forgot to include them in my stash countdown due to staying up till 5.30. So these were the first two. So that takes the stash count up to 74. Um, so I was doing quite well until I decided to perhaps work on my loopholes, which was if any discontinued kits came up for sale that I wanted, since I wasn't allowed to buy myself any more from actual direct from company websites, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just have a look on eBay. And that's where I found this beauty. So this was Coral by Sarah Mustafa in square. This was uh, a kit that I'd actually had in my wish list when I very first learned about Diamond Art Club and it was discontinued quite quickly after I joined Diamond Art Club. So I saw it come up for sale. I hadn't spent very much at that point. I was like, oh, I've been quite good and restrained and it's discontinued, therefore it's a loophole. So this kit cost me uh, £44, including postage. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if there's any more discontinued kits I might be interested in. So I stupidly went and I started being much more active on the stash, uh, de-stash groups on Facebook because there was a kit that I really, really wanted, which was uh, Avatar The Last Airbender fan art uh, called Moon Goddess. So I, I just made a few inquiries and guess what I ended up with? Moon Goddess, Sarah Mustafa again. So if you love Avatar The Last Airbender, You'll understand why I had to get this kit because <laughs> it was awesome. Um, I love that series. So I got Moon Goddess. So this one was quite good. I actually had two people reach out to sell me this one. Uh, the first person actually was in Australia and um, this is another discontinued kit and the price of the kit and the shipping from Australia was just, yeah, I'm not spending £160 on one kit. So I was like, no, if it's meant to be, I'll, I'll get it in the UK eventually at some point <laughs> and I did so uh, like a week later someone else reached out to me saying they had this kit and they were in the UK and it was including postage only £55 which is an awful lot better than the 160 that I was quoted from the Australian person so I'm just very thankful that someone in the UK had this kit and gave it to me well sold it to me so another discontinued kit for the pile. So my next one, literally on the same day that I bought this, another kit that I never in a million years thought I'd ever get a hold of came up for sale, which was 
Dum, dum, dum. Time to Spare by Sarah Mustafa. Are you noticing a theme here with the Sarah Mustafas? <laughs> so yeah, this one, of course, Rapunzel. She's so pretty, so much purple in it. This was discontinued before I even learned about Diamond Art Club. I'd seen it on someone else's um, video of, of one that they'd completed of this piece. And I was like, oh, I wish that one hadn't been discontinued because it's awesome. So this one, uh, again, it was from a UK uh, Facebook de stash group, fifty pounds, which that was including postage. So I was I was kind of on a roll here with my discontinued kits, and I was like, okay, so that I believe that was all June and then the beginning of July. So move this one down here, and then if you remember my other loophole that I mentioned, any kit from Puffy Gator, well, I've been waiting for this kit to come back in stock. For seven months <laughs> I really really wanted it and it was one of those kits where I was just so annoyed with myself that I was trying to be good at the time and didn't buy it and then I was like oh I wish I had that one I wish I had that one for like seven months so as soon as it came back into stock I got it beautiful blue girl by puffy gator yes I can cross that one off my wish list because I've got it but of course if you're international and you're buying from diamond art club's website you, you kind of you have to buy more than one kit because you know to get the free postage you don't want to pay for postage all the way to the UK so of course this one kit actually turned into four kits <laughs> so I also got Fire and Ice which was by Jojo's Art another um, artist that I really really love so that one and then we got Snow Queen because again Sarah Mustafa Again, a theme with Sarah Mustafa coming on here. Snow Queen. And then finally, I also got Smiling Tiger by, what's that? Uh, Patrick Lamont. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'm going to pronounce it really badly. Um, but yeah, I love this kit. This was another one that I was waiting for for ages. Um, I think it came out not long after the Blue Girl kit. Um, yeah, and it was another one that was like, oh, I wish I just hadn't been good and I'd just gotten that when it came up for sale. Um, originally when it was first released but now I got it so this one kit became four kits um, I was having a pretty bad beginning of July and I went a bit bonkers <laughs> but on the plus side my last purchase which was these kits was on the 10th of July we're now for me it's the 15th of August so I think that's 36 days now without buying a diamond painting so that's a roll for me usually it's every it used to be every two weeks. Um, so obviously I've got these nine kits to add on to the stash. Uh, I completed four since my last video. So if you're keeping count, my stash is now, I think, at 77 kits. <laughs> so we've gone up, not down. So that wasn't quite what I was supposed to be doing. So these loopholes of discontinued kits and puffy gator kits, I think I need to maybe get rid of because I ended up abusing my loopholes when it came to discontinued kits and the puffy gator kit that then multiplied. <laughs> so to keep myself even more accountable, I because this is getting out of hand my spending, <laughs> it is it is I made a list. <laughs> so I've I've written down what I completed in June and July and what I bought in June and July and what I spent in June and July. Um, which really puts it in perspective. Somehow your brain just defaults to these kits in your brain. They're actually less than what you're actually paying, which is when you see it in black and white, it's, it's yeah. I also bought um, these little trays. I've got five trays with lids for £26. These are actually really, really nice little trays. Um, so here's one that's got mismatched with diamonds in because I dropped them all over the floor. But they're great and they've got these little lids. So that was the one accessory I bought as well. I got five of these with little stoppers on. Awesome. That was another UK seller who actually hand printed them herself. So that was cool. But I won't be buying any more <laughs> accessories. So I worked out what I spent. So June uh, was £224 just on the kits. July was £265 just on the kits. And I went, wow, if this is me having a good two months... Just how much have I actually spent? So I went one step further and 
I calculated everything that I spent on licensed diamond paintings since December last year, December 22. Um, and it was sort of, it was, gives you an idea. That was December, which Christmas, January, February, March, April, May, and then the June and July. There's the total. Um, that is a horrifying total. Uh, obviously, I, I know money is a very sensitive subject for people. So I just want to give a little bit of background about how I could afford to spend so much because I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to rub it in their face. Um, so the background is I have been saving to buy my own house for almost the last 20 years. Um, so like the last time I went on holiday out of the country was in 2010. Uh, I buy all of my clothes on eBay and basically that's all I buy apart from, you know, gifts for nieces, nephews, uh, my stepdaughter, stuff like that. So last year I actually made offers on two houses. Um, I've been searching, actively searching for a property since 2019. Um, and then of course 2020, we all know, know what happened in 2020, so things got a bit postponed. I made offers on two properties last year. The first one fell through because the survey was so bad. The second uh, property I made the offer on, at the very last minute, someone came and outbid me by £40,000. So I was feeling rather deflated last year um, uh, that I was never going to get onto the property market. Uh, my mental health wasn't in the greatest state at the end of last year. So I went, I found diamond painting, I loved it, and I went, I'm going to I'm going to consider this an investment in my mental health because at that point I never thought I was going to get a property um and I thought it's time to dip into the house money that I've set aside for the last 20 years and treat myself to something that will bring me joy and and hopefully help with my mental health a little bit. Yes, I went overboard. <laughs> but in uh July I actually went to see a property. It was really good. I made an offer. The offer has been accepted. So I've just gotten the survey done. The survey came back great. So I will not be buying any more diamond paintings anymore because now I could afford it then. There's no way I can afford it now. So basically, I've had to sacrifice my brand new sofa that I was hoping to treat myself to because there's, there's no way I can afford, you know, a nice new sofa now after buying diamond paintings so I made a bit of a joke with my partner saying yeah maybe we could put all the boxes in the shape of a chair and we could sit on the diamond painting boxes um I wasn't being serious but you know <laughs> I get diamond paintings instead of a sofa basically <laughs> anyway so I think I hope that kind of puts it into context um of how I afforded these kits and also it's helped me to see that this spending is absolutely ludicrous and out of control um, so going forward, as I said, I have gone 36 days without purchasing a single kit. So I'm proud of myself. It's, it's challenging, but at the same time, if you can't afford it, you don't buy it. And yeah, basically I am planning not to buy a single diamond painting now until we hit the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. Cause if there's a huge discount, then I will treat myself as Christmas presents. Um, but yeah. Uh, this time next year, this number will not be, for next year, this number will be a lot lower and I'll feel a lot less bad about it. So I kind of feel like I'm trying to justify it to both you and to myself because it's, it's not great. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Um, so I also worked out as well that the kits I've got will probably take around 600 days to complete all the kits I've got in my stash. So that's a lot of diamond painting. Um, so anyway, uh, with things being so hectic as they are with uh, getting all my ducks in a row for buying this house and moving and everything, uh, this video series is going to go on pause. Um, I'll try and check in every so often with uh, monthly updates for what diamond paintings I'm working on. At the moment in August, I haven't completed a single diamond painting. It's just been... Um, it's so manically busy. So, uh, so yeah, that's an update on my, my diamond painting stash, which is now at 77 diamond paintings. And yeah, uh, I will check back in with you guys 
once things, I don't know, whenever. <laughs> there won't be a regular up upload schedule at the moment. Um, sorry for rambling on a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, feel free to mock me for my insanity for the amount that I spent because yeah <laughs> let's just move that out of the way and not look at it um i also actually because i'm like preparing for what kits can i get for christmas i've actually made a list Ta -da. <laughs> so these i've got so many diamond art club kits i i kind of want to brand branch out and have and try different companies so i've made a list of like different companies i want to try um the prices of the kits and like my top like three to five kits from each company. So um, the one with the diamond art, I've actually got 50 pounds worth of points to use. I think they expire around March next year. Um, so I was thinking of, of spending those at some point. Diamond Art Studio UK, I've actually got two pound 50 in points just because I didn't realize you got points for just creating an account. Um, and those points expire in December. So I'm thinking of just maybe just getting one kit from them in December. The Great Horned Owl is number one on my list. Dreamer Designs, uh, they have a, a, a discount code if you're a new time customer, which is welcome50, where you get buy one, get one 50% off. So these are my top two. The This is a blueberry lunch is a bunny rabbit one. Confetti the cat is a cat and they're quite small. So those two, that would come to about 68 pounds with the discount code for those. Or a lower, um, I'm, I'm not sure, I probably won't get around to buying any or uh, lower for this year or next year, just because their their shipping is, is very, very high. Um, and I couldn't actually find any discount codes for that. So there are maybe one day. Um, diamond Dots, I would like to get um, a few Diamond Dots just because apparently they have the most sparkly drills out of any diamond painting company. So I'm very interested to kind of try out them. So I'm thinking you can get these kits on Amazon in the UK. I might just put them on my Christmas list for like my parents to perhaps buy me a kit. Um, and then we've got Craft Buddy. I I like that I like Craft Buddy except the fact that all of their diamond paintings come on canvases. So that adds an awful lot of bulk and makes it harder to store. So I think I'd probably maybe only get this one which uh, is winter fox because it's a fox just just to try them um but they this is like one of the companies that actually has licensed disney uh paintings all of these companies i'm showing you have uh legally licensed uh diamond paintings so the artist is being compensated for the use of their artwork and they've given permission for the use of their artwork i won't support any companies that um have stolen artwork because i'm all about support supporting the artists uh, so Muni Made, I'm I'm interested in trying them mainly just because I want to try their trays. Um, everyone raves about Muni Made trays, and if you buy kits and get a tray add-on, it's actually easier to get a tray that way than to go on the waiting list for a custom one. Um, Mary's Diamonds, that was um, that's a maybe uh, distracted by diamonds. There's so many because they have so many puffy gator kits. And again, that's my loophole. However, again, their postage to the UK is very high. That's why I <laughs> want loads insanely, insanely expensive shipping with an unhappy face. Um, so there will be like a, when I've got through more of my stash, I might buy like one. <laughs> um, and then there's a few more companies that I need to add on that I found recently that I'd be interested in. This is the one that's going to break me. Jaded Gem Shop. I want everything like this whole page i can't narrow it down to just a couple i want i want them all um she has a lot of princess panel ish princess portraits done by the artist um i think it's mari 945 her artwork is just amazing like, i i knew about her before i even knew about diamond painting so the fact that she's now got her art licensed i mean i follow her on on instagram and everything and i've seen a lot of her artwork stolen and sold really cheaply on amazon so the fact that it's now legally licensed by Jaded Gem Shop means I want all of them. And she has 20 princess <laughs> prince, princess series diamond paintings available. I was like, I can't narrow it down because, you know, I want the set. I want all 20, which in one go would be over a thousand pounds. I'm like, 
I hope they have a really good deal on at Christmas and then maybe I'll ration it and get 10 and then 10 the following Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's all kind of, it's fun. I get to plan out what I can, I can have to spend my, yeah, plan out what I can spend my money on and be a lot more cautious of prices. Um, so that's going forward. So this, this video series is sort of helping yet also making me feel incredibly embarrassed about how much I've spent and things. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, as I said, moving house video series are going to be all on hold for a bit. Um, very erratic upload schedules. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please, uh, can you give me a thumbs up on your way out? It really does help the channel. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please be kind about how stupid I was with all the money I spent. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I'll see you guys all soon. <laughs> Have a great August. Are we in August? Yes. Have a great August, guys. <laughs> Bye.